So today I'm going to change the carburetor on this very popular Briggs & Stratton 375 lawnmower engine. Here we go. Now I was given this lawnmower for free, so I spent seven sterling on a new carburetor. Now it's Chinese knockoff or whatever, but it doesn't matter. The lawnmower is not worth very much and this will get it fixed and get it working again. So here we go. Now to get this carburetor off, we need very little in the way of tools. Let's start with a flathead screwdriver. So I've got a fairly chunky flathead screwdriver and we're just going to take this off. This is the air filter. So we've got a long bolt, leave that there. We've got a cover. The whole thing comes up, but just to show you the bits, we've got a fairly, <laughs> a really grimy um, sponge. Okay, so we'll sort that out. Actually original as well, it says Briggs and Stratton on it. So, um, okay, here's the carburetor now. Here's the few bits we need to get to. Now, we've got a cable tie that I need to take off here. Right, that's it. You know, you won't get that on another one. So the primer bulb is just shot now, look. The rubber has just disintegrated with age, I suppose, and sunlight. Now there's a little light spring in here. That's for the governor. And um, yeah, it's, it's a bit banjax as well. It's a bit broken, but it'll do for now. So the carburetor sits on top of the fuel bowl and we're gonna pull the whole thing out. Fuel bowl, carburetor, the whole lot. So we need a 10 socket for here. Let's do that. So I have the first one almost out. The second one is in here, if you can see it. It's a 13 mil. So that's the two bolts out, okay? Still sitting there. We'll address that now. So I'm just gonna disconnect the cable here. Turns out my flathead screwdriver will do it. So I'm just removing the clamp, or slacking it at least. Okay, that's it. Now this allows me to get the, uh, the choke cable off it. Okay, so not a whole lot left holding this on. Now I have bits of leaves in here as well, so I'll just show you. It is actually off. Just pull that bolt out the rest of the way. That's a, <laughs> it's a holly leaf or something. Okay, it's free. All right, so, so far, I've taken very little off it. Now there is a bit of fuel or something in it. Okay, and you just tilt it. These things with a little angle on it, that thing, if you can see it. You just literally tilt it and it'll come out. It's designed that way, you know, so it can't fall out. So we're gonna take the carburetor off the tank. There's five Phillips screws to do that. So, here we go, there's the first one moving. Second one. Now a whole new carb for this thing was seven euro or seven sterling. You know, maybe 850 or something. So, you know, for about a tenner, Less than 10 euro, I suppose. I think the postage was free on that, I'm not sure. But look, it's very cheap. Now, I could have just bought gaskets for this, but because the bulb, this thing, is absolutely disintegrated, there was no point. But, uh, you know, very cheap fix. Okay, so, you have to pull these out. Right, so these are going to go on the new carb. There's one. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I haven't used this yet. This is brand new. So, it's a magnetic tool tray. Handy. So something I do like that's very cheap and I bought lately are these magnetic strips. You know, tool holders, magnetic tool holders. They're very good. They're really, really good. You know, you can get at your most used tools spanners, sockets, screwdrivers, whatever it may be. I just hang them up there, it's very good. Okay, so there's five screws out. No, there's four screws out, here's the fifth one. All 
All right, they're out completely now, so. Now, new carburetor. Okay, here we go. Can't go wrong for this money. So we got a carb. They give us the five screws. And we get two gaskets. Okay, one with a diaphragm. Very good. I don't know how to make these and ship them for seven quid. It's very good. Okay, let's get the gaskets on first. And it does have the spring. Now the old gaskets lifted off completely. There's no, um, you know, there's no residue at all. It's just lovely and clean. To show you that. So we won't have any issues putting the new ones on. You know, if they did, you might have to scrape them and sand them lightly. Okay, there's the five new screws. So we've got the one with the diaphragm on. They only go on one way because of the shape of them. So here's the first gasket that goes on. This is the one with the diaphragm. Okay, it's got a little thing here. You see that? Second one is the gasket. That goes on top. So that's it, I have the diaphragm gasket on, I have the main gasket on, and we have the carburetor. The bulb goes out to the front, the same direction as the, uh, the cap. Right, so it just goes through here. Okay, it's in. Make sure your little spring is still on, which it is. Line them all up. You know, be nice and gentle with it. If at this stage you can't see through all the holes, you know, make sure you can. Take it off, line them up again. So I'll just use the new, the new screws. So there's number one. Just going to lightly screw it in. Just go in a couple of threads for now till I get them all seated. Right, that's in. Next one. These, these are magnetic. These are cheap, but they were good. Yeah, I can see down through all the holes, so I, I know there's no problem with the, um, with the gaskets being misaligned or on backwards or anything like that. So, so far, it's just a few minutes to get this far. Bear in mind, these are fairly fragile gaskets, and this is a plastic carburetor. Okay, so that's it. Carburetor on the tank. And it comes with a gasket on top. All right, so I'm gonna put a lot more back up here now so you can see it all go back together. <laughs> so while I have access to it, on the cylinder head, there's some uh, leaves and stuff. So I'm just gonna blow them off. You have to be careful not to blow them into the bore. Okay, now I'm trying to get you right in here so you can see what's going on. Okay, so we've got the spring, our little cantilever. That literally goes in there. Okay, and pull back. This hook piece here, that's gonna go in the hole on the governor. This tube is gonna go there onto that pipe. Okay, so let's do that. Now you can put a little bit of oil in here if you want, just to kind of ease things on. But literally, we're just going to put things back together now. So here we go. Look, that goes up. Just ease things together. Okay, and it goes in. And that's it. That's the carburetor on. Just two bolts, which I haven't put in yet. Now, here's the bolt for the front. Literally just kind of line it up and put it in by hand. Okay, so we're just in a few threads. So we have our little elbow on. We have our spring on, we have the governor connected, 
and uh, we've one bolt to put back in here. Now the next bolt to go back in is this 13. So literally you can do this in just a few minutes. Okay, so now I'm just going to wind this in by hand. Okay, that's it. Right, so we're tied on that, but we're not tied on the front yet. So the front one is here. I'm just going to tighten it. Get most of it by hand. Okay, just a 10 mil. Just reverse the ratchet. Okay, that's it. Now, we have to hook this up. So. And that's it. We're on. Now, the air filter on this is really bad. So, we're going to clean it. Looks okay this side. But underneath, yeah, it's pretty bad. This is the stuff I took out of the bowl. And I'm just washing it in that. Let's put the sponge back in. This thing is angled. Okay, the angle actually sits in here, not on the front. So we're on. Now, here's the top of it. That goes on, like that. And we have a long bolt here. Literally down through the whole lot, and we tighten it in. Now, bear in mind, all this stuff is plastic, so you don't want to go too mental, you know, screwing stuff in because you, you'll strip the treads. Okay. Now, this thing. You know, I'm pulling it back, I've got a, a bit of reach on it, and I'm just going to tighten it. Not too mental on it. And that's it, we're together now. So we'll start this, we'll put some fuel in it, we'll start it and see how it goes. Now the battery just went in the camera. The primer bulb never worked on this for me anyway. So we've changed out the whole carburetor and uh, this one has a brand new primer bulb. So what I'm doing is now, I'm going to squirt it. That's actually squirting. Excellent. Okay. So I've squirted some juice in there. This thing is on start. Pull that up. Let's see if she goes. <laughs> okay, now that wasn't made up. That was the first pull on this thing. Now I tried starting this only a couple of weeks ago and it wouldn't go. So I ordered a carburetor. I think it came in around 10 euro or something, uh, which is great. And you saw it worked first time. The spark plug is even old. So I haven't changed out the spark plug. This is Sunday. I can't get one till tomorrow. So I was a bit dubious as to whether or not it would start, but it has. So look, I'm going to leave it there for now. Very easy to change a carburetor on one of these Sprint 375 Briggs & Stratton engines. Very, very handy. Uh, this is an old machine. Uh, given to me a scrap and uh, you know ten ten dollars ten euro and it lives again So look I'm gonna leave it there for now if you like the video, please thumbs up Subscribe down here if you wouldn't mind if you've already subscribed <laughs> Thanks very much again. Okay. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Good luck